Hey veterans and your golf buddies out there. Welcome to the 2020 Tea at Home event. My name is Jim Dickerson. I'm a PGA teaching professional at the University of Iowa Finkbine Golf Course in Iowa City. And I'm also a retired Sergeant Major of the United States Army. I'm gonna give you the fundamentals of setting up today so that at least you'll have an opportunity to strike the golf ball reasonably well. For those of you who aren't that interested in setting up, uh, just go ahead and assume the position of attention. And when we're done here, uh, you may repair. Setting up is the grip, the posture, the ball position, and the alignment. They create 80% of all the errors in the golf swing. And if you can get set up properly, then you have an 80% chance of putting a reasonable strike on the golf ball. It all starts with the grip. The grip is absolutely the most important thing in the golf swing because it attaches you to the club. So when you place your hands on the club, and I'm gonna go through predominantly with a, for a right-hander, but if you are left-handed, then you'll want to just reverse the process. So a right-hander, you'll put your left hand underneath the shaft of the club. The toe will be pointed straight up. The bottom line will be vertical. And you'll wrap that left hand around on top. You'll want to be able to see two to three knuckles on that left hand. The reason for that is when the club has to turn through, you have the range of motion for that left hand and that left arm. If you have what we call a weak grip where you can only see one knuckle or no knuckles, when it comes time for that club to swing through, there's no range of motion for that left arm. And so the toe will stay open, the face will stay open and all your shots will go right. So placing that left hand on that club properly with two to three knuckles in view is imperative. The left thumb is a little bit over on the right side. So you'll cup that thumb in that lifeline of the right hand. And now you have an option. You can 10 finger grip, you can interlock, or you can overlap. It's your choice. Whatever feels comfortable and secure, that's imperative. Once you have your hands on the club, the grip pressure on that left hand or the top hand on a scale of one to 10 is a seven. It's not a death grip, but it's firm. The grip pressure on the right hand on that same scale of one to 10 is a three. It is soft, it is passive, it does nothing. Now most people learn to pound a nail into a board by gripping that hammer and with force going bang, bang, bang. And from that day forward, everything they've done with that, that dominant hand has been with grip pressure and force. But that is the nemesis of the golf swing it will destroy your golf swing because now you're taking that instrument and trying to smash the golf ball. And in fact, it's not how hard you hit the golf ball that gives you distance, it's how fast the club head is moving. And fast comes with flexibility. Once you place your hands on the club properly, then you have the measuring stick in your hand that tells you how far you are to be from the golf ball. So you'll place the club head down behind the ball first and then step up to the grip. You'll have flex in the knees, flex in the hips, and with the short irons, the ball will be right there in the center of the stance. If I turn around this way, you'll see the flexes in my knees and my hip. And that flattens the small of the back. Most people have a tendency to want to bend forward at the waist. And when you do, 
when you take the club back and through, the hips will rock and then the shoulders will rock and all of that rocking just moves the club head away from the golf ball and up and down. You may or may not get back to that golf ball. But when I flex in my hips, my spine becomes the axle around which everything moves and the club, shoulders, hands and arms all rotate and the club stays at the level of the golf ball. It'll come right back to the ball every single time. The discipline that, that you learned in your military service is required for you to get set up properly every single time. So you'll place the club head down behind the ball first, step up to the grip, your arms are hanging almost straight down, you're flexing the knees, flexing the hips, stabilizing the spine, and now you're in the proper position to execute a swing back and through. Once you have established that posture, it makes no difference what club you have in your hands. So if I go to a longer club, you'll notice that I'm farther from the golf ball, but I'm in the same posture, flexing the knees, flexing the hips, stabilizing the spine, and now I can go back into the same position here, drop into the slot, and release the club. Are there any questions? Thank you.